All right, everybody. Hello and welcome. I am here with Rebecca Shower, and Rebecca is a registered dietitian, and she wrote and she's in the process of writing an amazing book. It's called "It's Just Food," and her book during the pre-launch became a number one best-selling book on Amazon. So I am super excited to have Rebecca here. So Rebecca, welcome. Hi. Thank you. Great to yeah. be here. Yes. Yeah, yes. So. You know, everybody um, talks about writing a book, you know, it's, and that's actually 95% of all people in the United States said that they wish they would write a book, but actually 0.1% of people actually decided that they're really going to write a book. And not only after writing the book, sometimes people do not publish their books because they believe that is a very long process, but um you did uh, the book launch course and uh, you um, launched in your book, you pre-launched your book successfully on Amazon. So the first thing I want to ask is what most people are going to be asking you, how does it feel to, you know, to see your book during the pre-launch become a best-selling book? It feels really great. Like, you know, I'm not about that kind of stuff at all, because for me, truly, truly writing the book is because I, I love to write. Um, something I always wanted to do is write a book or books. This, I think this will be the first of a few, but it, it feels really, really good, especially um, back when I first had decided to write books. This is like 20 years ago when I had just left college, basically. It's like, I, yeah, I knew I loved writing and I wanted to share my expertise like that someday. And back then you had to get a literary agent you know, I think Amazon was probably just starting, but it was not what it is today. You know, there wasn't all this way to publish online like there is today. And so um, it feels really good because it allows people like me who just want to share expertise via writing to do it in a more efficient, direct path. So I, I, I love it. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's like, it's, it's great that I can just publish a book, but to have it be bestseller, um, you know, in that way on a place like Amazon, that's really cool. Very cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations. And uh, for those who do not know, Amazon is the biggest, largest bookstore in the world. Nobody else sells as many books as Amazon. So becoming a bestseller, that means that more people are going to read your book and you're going to be, you know, your message is going to be exposed to more people. Uh, and then you can create that larger impact. And then uh, that's what um, Rebecca is talking about, you know, just having that passion for writing and putting her message out there. So uh, I will share, I will show the Amazon uh, ranking and all of that. But I do want to, let's, uh, for those who are, you know, so interested in your work, um, what is the book going to be about? What exactly is the book? Okay, so, well, as Verna said, I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. I also call myself a life wellness coach because the work that I do with women is much more than just about food and nutrition. It's a lot of the internal, um, mental, emotional stuff that plays into our relationship with food. And that can be your relationship with your body, your relationship with yourself and just how you see yourself in the world and how you relate to yourself. Um, in addition to your relationship with food, it's also like how you relate to your emotions. You know, if we're emotional eaters, we relate to our emotions a certain way. And, you know, food is the way that we either distract, escape, cope with those emotions. Um, so there's, so, so like, that's why I say life wellness, because from my own experience going through an eating disorder, I was an exercise bulimic starting in college. And then it lasted for several years after that. Um, what I found was that a lot of, um, even though it was like this habit-based behavior that I did, feeding into that was all these areas of my life that were lacking wellness. Like, so... My book is about, and for, ambitious women, because that was me, still is me, that are striving. We want to have more, we want to be more, we want to basically reach our fullest potential over our lifetime and do what we can to really step into living the best life that we wanna live for ourselves. And so we strive and with striving, when we're trying to like 
up level, you know, in our life in whatever way, career, relationships, um, money, however we might try to up level. With that, it's going to be a, some stress. It's just the natural way of human existence. Whenever we're transforming into something different, it's a little bit uncomfortable because we're going from what is known to what is unknown. So we get into what I call, you know, the striving. And then with that comes stress. And the level of stress that you have with your striving kind of depends on how your mind works. But oftentimes what happens then is, especially as really ambitious women, we start to deprive and deplete. We're not giving ourselves the time to just be. It's always like do, do, do. Got to achieve an, a result in some way. And if we're not achieve, achieving the result, we strive more. And with that, we stress even more. And then that with that, we deprive and we deplete ourselves even more, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally. I mean, that depriving and depleting can show up in all certain ways. And also dieting or the desire to like change our body shape or to eat better, that can become a stressful striving process. Losing weight can become a stressful striving process. And we can actually, through trying to lose weight, deprive and deplete ourselves into binge eating, which is what I did over time, okay? So that is what my book is about. It's about for those high achieving, ambitious women who wanna do more, be more, have more, that get stressed, and then as we get stressed, we strive more to try to overcome the stress and we deprive and deplete and then we get into survival mode. So what I realized over the course of time is like, this was me when I was going through my eating disorder. I was just literally in survival mode. And when you're in survival mode, our, what our, our lower primal animalistic brain is just running the show and our negative habits and all our coping mechanisms are just running the show. And for, for me, one of those coping mechanisms, because I was so in survival mode, was binge eating and then over-exercising. Like, that was how I purged. And it just became this perpetual cycle. And that happens with a lot of women in a lot of ways. Uh, I, I've seen it with clients and just in general, even if they're, it's not food-related, we create coping mechanisms when we get into those places. And for this book, it's all about helping high achieving ambitious women. And that can be career or, but it can sometimes just be family. Like I've met so many women who are so wanting to give to their families and be those caretakers and just create the most amazing family environment, which is wonderful. So I think high achievement and ambition and striving doesn't necessarily have to be about money or lifestyle or um, career. Often it is, but it can also be about relationships and want and, and that, and we over strive in those ways. So the book is specifically around women who are like the stress eaters where they've deprived and depleted and they're in that survival mode and they're stress eating and they're coping with food you don't have to necessarily be a binge eater to you know to benefit from it you don't have to be in an eating disorder at all it, the book's not going to be written for that um but it's the similar patterns it's just kind of like the degree of intensity on the scale that we get on like I I was way over here like I was really intense in that struggle, you know, some people are over here, but they're still struggling where it's like, we love food and we hate food. There's just this, just what I call that distorted relationship. And instead of food, just being natural and easy, and we're just following our body's rhythms and we're feeding ourselves and we're nourishing ourselves. Food has become this torment in our life in whatever way. Like for me, it was like to the nth degree for some women, it's just kind of this nagging thing, but still it's an energy drain. And it really keeps us from stepping into all those things that we're trying to achieve. Like we're trying to be more, have more, do more, but we're stuck in the cycle. It's like the more we strive, the more we stress, the more we deprive and deplete, the more we start to get into survival and coping mode. And then we're like feeling so bad. We're feeling shame. We're feeling guilt. We're feeling 
all the uncomfortable feelings that we might feel when we're not um, sh showing up in our lives the way that we want to or achieving what we want. And then to try to deal with those uncomfortable feelings, what do we do? We strive more and then we stress more and then we deprive and deplete more and then we cope more and then it just can keep going around and around. So my book is about or for women who relate to that, um, but also the, then stepping out of that instead of continuing to spin in that circle and, and food being the coping mechanism specifically to finally like what I call reconnect with what you're truly hungry for. It's, it's a, a more of an inner process than these are the foods to eat process, right? And, and it's about instead of spinning in that circle, you start to have like a steady kind of stair step trajectory. But to get into that kind of, you know, stair step up level versus over striving and stressing and not really getting anywhere, we have to slow down. We literally, you know, it's so for ambitious women, high achieving women, that can be one of the hardest things for us to do to literally just stop and slow down. And what I call reconnect with yourself or come home to yourself. And I know, Verna, you totally get this because you're all into like meditation and like just coming into what I call your inner sanctuary mm -hmm. because yeah. it's, in that, it's in that inner sanctuary where we find where our true choices are, what we are truly hungry for, because we can be going after something and trying to achieve something, but it might not even be our own. It might be something that a family expects of us, like a, a um other people in our life are expecting of us or a societal expectation. Well, everybody does this and this is kind of the path of life that we live. And, or when you step into this career, this is the trajectory of the career and this is how you up level in that career. And, and so we just start kind of doing what maybe outside forces have told us we should do, but they're not our true choices because the true choices come in he from here, right? And so the way that women are going to step out of the overstriving and get more into what I call thriving, right? You know, creating your results from feeling good and thriving in your life versus trying to create results from escaping pain. Um, we have to, that's the first step. We really have to slow down. There's other aspects, but, you know, I call it slow down to speed up and find your true choices. What are you truly hungry for? Because you're not truly hungry for food. We, we, you, of course we are, we have to eat to survive, but the cravings and the, the habits that we develop with food and the, the way that we use food to cope with our lives, we think it's the food. We think, oh, I'm a sugar addict and this and that. And neurobiology plays into that. I'm not saying that sugar doesn't have addictive qualities, but there's something deeper. And there's something deeper inside all of us that are these true choices that we have to really reconnect to consistently because they can change over time too because you know especially as we grow up or you know um go through life like what our true choices were in our 20s let's say might not be the same in our 40s 50s 60s so I think it's a it's a steady ongoing process it's not like you do it once and then everything's better you have to do this over and over again like taking the shower sometimes it literally has to be a daily thing sometimes maybe a monthly thing like I like this weekend I'm putting myself on retreat I'm on retreat and I am going to be doing some meditating and some journaling and just coming home to myself tuning in to what are my true choices like for the next month for the next couple months you know, maybe even the next year and always coming back to that place because we can get so distracted by all the noise and forget who we really are. And hence, we overstrive, we overstress, we deprive, we deplete, we, de <laughs> we go up and survive and then we do it again. So that's amazing. That that's is, amazing. That's what I the love it. About. I love everything that you say, you know, and I can relate so much to that. And I'm sure that a lot of other women out there are also going to be, you know, relating to everything that you said. And it's so true, you know, uh, mainly, for, you know, for us, you know, it's just always trying to do more, you know, and feeling all of that. And sometimes what you're saying, are you doing your retreat? And I love that, that time for self-care and to take that step back and look at everything in our lives too. I love it. It's, uh, it's, and, you know, and you are a coach. so. Um, 
this is just a small little glimpse into you know um what you can offer as, as a coach because you also do that right i mean uh the book is going to be give people really um transformational opportunity but they also can take that a step further and work with you individually right so that you can also help them um uh, to this through all of these steps that you mentioned so Tell, tell us a little bit about that, about how you can work with people individually and help them with that transformation. Great. Yes. I love to do it. It's my favorite thing to, is I, I, what I love about coaching is the connecting with the client. That is what I've realized over the, over time is I'd love to have a real connection with my client. So right now I'm doing one-on-one and that is how I'm working with clients And I, in the past, I've done group and things like that. But what I realized is for right now, for where I am in my life, I really want that deep transformation for a client that you can, that they can receive in that one-on-one container. So if anybody wants to work with me or is interested in working with me, we would just jump on a Zoom call and we would see like, if we're a good fit, basically. Right. And, yeah. That's so and, important. Yeah. And then take it from there, you know, and just, and just see if it's a good fit. And if it is, then we would talk about what the one-on-one pro, you know, process looks like. It's typically a year that I work with what with people. Yeah. It's in transformation, you know, um, it's, um, it's not doesn't happen overnight and as you mentioned you know it it can be an uncomfortable process but you can be much more uncomfortable if you have no guidance and if you're just trying to make it you know through the process yourself versus having somebody who is an expert you know as yourself and and guiding us through that process and and it is a shortcut really you know because uh, um there is so much information out there and there's so much and And women who are ambitious and they are working, they're just overwhelmed with so many things. They're just, you know, and this is one thing that you can take off the plate and guide them so that they know they're making progress and then they are getting, you know, where where they want to be. And I have worked with a lot of professional women and um and and I know that that's a lot of times they're great at what they do professionally, but they get stuck when it comes to food. You know what I mean? When they get stuck when it comes to that part of their lives. And in, we are all worthy of taking care of ourselves the best way we can. Um, and for women in general, sometimes it's hard to make themselves ourselves a priority, right? And, um, but when we make ourselves a priority that we can give so much more, you know, taking this time to reconnect with yourself and go through um, the process that Rebecca is mentioning through her book and working with her, uh, privately on one-on-one. And that is a great opportunity to work one-on-one because we see a lot of the coaching nowadays, so much group, right? That, you know, sometimes people get a little bit lost in there, in that group. They're not getting exactly what they need and having this customized to the person, I think that is an amazing opportunity. So to hop on that call with Rebecca and see how, you know, she, she can help you moving forward. Uh, I do want to share your book. I want to go to Amazon and I want to share my screen. We have is just food. It's a beautiful cover. I love it. I love the cover. And um, and right now, um, you know, the pricing is going to change, right? So right now, we still have it for if you're watching this right now for nine nine cents. But um, when you see this video, it may not be nine nine cents yet. This is like her special pre-launch. But if you're seeing this and the price is two ninety nine. Take action and get the book right now. Pre-order the book. And uh, when the book is released, then you're going to be notified. And Amazon will send you the link so that you can uh, either download or uh, later on have the paperback option. But as you can see here is number one uh, new release in eating disorders and body image and self-help. And I also wanted to share, um, and this is during her pre-launch, that her book has come number one. Um, also in other categories, in health, fitness, dieting, and short reads, and also as an Amazon hot new release. So 
uh, number one in three different categories right down here, you can see. So it is quite an accomplishment to become, you know, a best-selling author. As I mentioned, most people uh, do not even publish the book because they believe to be a very long and, uh, and hard process. Uh, and that's one of the things that, you know, we can help you shortcut that as well. And for those who do have, you know, a beautiful message and want to create an impact in the world, um, because this is what it is, you know, we all have our given talents, we all have our special talents, but if we just keep that to ourselves, right, and now you're not uh, fulfilling our purpose and our mission, and this is your legacy, you know, when you write a book, it's not just for the people who live now, but the people who are coming year after year after year, so you're writing this book now, and imagine the ripple effect and the impact it's going to have Ha, you know, ha, um, having so many women for so many years to come. So this is a, a quite an accomplishment, um, Rebecca. I'm super proud of you. Uh, it's so amazing, so beautiful. I love the cover and um, and your message just going to you know speak with so many so many women who are high achiever, ambitious women um, that are having uh, those issues and they need that transformation. So everybody watching this video, go over there to Amazon right now. We'll have a link to Rebecca's book. Uh, it's just food right underneath this, this video. And also um, Rebecca's information that you can book that call with Rebecca and learn more about how to work with her as one of her one-on-one uh, -on -one clients. Rebecca, thank you so much. I'm so excited uh, to have been part of this journey with you. Um, Rebecca, so uh, before we go, I mean, is there anything that you want to share with anybody? Um... I just want to spread the message. I've been through a tumultuous relationship with food. And I just want people to receive wisdom from my experience and if it transforms you that's all the better um I I'm one of those people that is so passionate about people stepping into their fullest potential hence I'm an ambitious high achieving woman however if we don't do the right self-care with that, it can really lead us down a painful path in, in various ways. And if I can help any woman either break out of that or avoid that, that is what I want to do. Whether it's through her reading the book, whether she's just following what I do on social or however that looks on my email list, or whether that's in a very intimate coaching relationship in a year long container, I call it a container because I'm holding that space for you. I'm bringing you into the sanctuary, <laughs> so to speak. So I, I, that's all the stuff that I love. And I guess that's the message that I'll leave people with. And, and I thank you for, beautiful. for supporting me through this because it wasn't easy, even though I had told myself for years, I'm writing a book someday. I'm writing a book someday. I'm writing a book. Now, I when I made that decision, like I'm doing it now, all of a sudden, you know, all these things came up and um, as they do when we're up leveling, that's the natural process. And so you helped me through that. And I appreciate that very, 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 very much. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. And you know, uh, it's been a pleasure, you know, helping you in this journey because uh, I really believe in what you do, you know, and um, just having that intention to help other women because it was your own experience and you know that struggle. And that makes the best coaches because when you go through that pain and you know what it feels like and you know you go to the other side and now you're helping people overcome that. And I think it's just beautiful and I'm very happy to, you know, be part of this journey with you. And I cannot wait to read your book. Uh, and so and everybody else too, I'm sure. Um, so thank you so much, uh, Rebecca, for your time. Thank you so much for allowing me to be part of your book journey. And um, 
we will um you know connect you with who is watching this video right now so make sure if you're watching this video right now go grab uh rebecca's book and pre-order right now and um make sure that you book that call with rebecca so that you can get the personalized one-on-one uh and that is a complimentary consultation right rebecca when they book that call with you uh absolutely yeah it's all about us getting to know each other first i want to understand exactly what you're going through and I want to know exactly where you want to be because I'm I'm a visionary and I want to hear about, you know, I want to hear about where you're struggling, but more I want to hear about what is your vision? Like if you weren't in whatever you're struggling with, how would that free you up to step even more into your doing and being and having what you really want? So those are the things that we talk about. And then if we feel this connection and like yeah, it would be amazing for us to work together, then we would talk about that. So it's just an unfolding, a conversation just to, to see. It's an, ex, it's an exploration. <laughs> awesome. So, all right. So if you're ready to go into the exploration and having uh, Rebecca as, you know, your coach and helping you um, take the next step, because that's all it is, you know, you take one step at a time and that's step by step is where you get there. Just go ahead and book a call with Rebecca right now. And everyone, thank you so much for watching. Rebecca, once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being here with me. Uh, and everybody, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.